Hi and welcome to a World of Words drawing tutorials. I'm Vanessa and today I'm going to show you how I like to draw, ink, and color female anime eyes. I originally filmed this video at the same time as my Disney eye tutorial and it was meant to be a bit of a comparison between the two drawing styles but the footage ended up really long, so I decided to cut them into two different videos. I also realized that viewers might only be interested in one of the two drawing styles. First you're gonna have to draw the grid to learn how to place it on the face, so you're just going to draw in a curved line from the top of the forehead to the chin. This is going to tell you where your character is looking. So this is a three-quarter view, which is the easiest view and the one that I do the most often. Just because it looks really dynamic. I've been seriously practicing and drawing anime characters for about 12 years and I still always, always do the grid. Whenever I try and draw without the grid, it ends up looking kind of funky and their eyes are just lopsided. Okay. So this is going to, so this is going to be the top of your eyes and eyelashes and this is going to be the bottom of your eyes and eyelashes. And obviously along this point is where your nose is going to be if you're going to draw the entire face. So the grid is very very helpful and very important. So for the top of the eye you're just going to draw an arch, just a curved line and you can fill it in a little bit just to get a nice thick eyelash and then you're going to draw an oval and depending on where you place this oval it's going to determine what direction your character is looking if I were to place the oval right here they would be looking over to that side or if I were to place the oval over here the character would, would be facing this direction so just draw an oval like that Never feel bad about adjusting your drawing. If one line doesn't work, just erase it and draw again. Oh, I forgot to say that my tool, at this point my tools are just a regular a mechanical pencil and an eraser. So then I'm going to do the bottom line, which is just a little line and kind of looks like, I don't know, a line with it's like sticking up a little bit. It's hard to describe. It's just basically a straight line. Um, if you add a little bit of curve to the line, it just, just brings a little bit more character to the character, I think, rather than just having a straight line there. So now you're going to draw the shines of the eye, which is the most fun part of anime eyes. Um, you're just going to do... Again, the shines can also determine where your character is looking. If you put the shines in a weird spot, your character is going to look cross-eyed. So I like to put the shines um, in the same direction that I placed the eye. So instead of putting it over on this side, I'm putting it over here just to make it all seem to make sense. You can actually experiment with this if you want. And then you're going to draw a little smaller oval and you want that to come up part way to the first giant shine. There's a big shine and there's going to be a little shine. So the little shine is going to be directly diagonal to the big shine and it's probably going to be about half the size. And you see right there how the character already looks like she has some big shiny eyes. And then you just do these extra little lines. Hopefully you can see it. And now we're going to do her eyelashes. So you can put her eyelashes, I like to just put them at the end and just do a few eyelashes really come into it more when you're inking because um, these pencil lines are going to end up getting erased and if you make them too long and too thick it's gonna make your character look like she's wearing a lot of makeup so you can keep that in mind if you do want a character that wears a lot of makeup so that is the complete eye I'm going to do one on the other side just to show you how two eyes look. <laughs> so you're going to start with a slightly narrower um, little arch. And remember because this is a three-quarter view your eyes don't have to be the same size which is another reason why I love this view.
Right, and so then you're going to do another shine at the top, and then another oval, which meets the top shine half, about halfway. Then you're going to do the little shine, and then the little lines in the eye, which have a name, but can't think of it at the moment. Then you're going to give her her lashes. Alright, and this is the anime eye, and now I'm going to ink it. Cheap version that I recommend for beginners is the Sharpie pen, uh, the fine point ones. I actually do use these a lot, and when I run out of my <laughs> other type of ink pens, um, they work very nicely. So there's nothing wrong with using the Sharpie pen, and they're super cheap. So I think you can get a pack of two for about two dollars or something ridiculous. Whatever you do, do not try to work with a any regular sort of ballpoint pen. The lines are not going to be even. It's either that the ink, there's not enough of it, or the ink is too wet, and it will either just like stop and kind of look uneven and and really bad. And you can really, really ruin a drawing by using the wrong kind of pen to ink. I've tried it at desperate times when I run out of my Sharpie pens or nicer pens. It's just not worth it. Um, but what I'm actually going to be using instead of the Sharpie pen is this Prismacolor Premium ink pen um, at 005. This is an art pen for line work. It comes in a set of a bunch of different pens of different thickness. So this is the thinnest one and I like to use it just because the thinner the line, one, the less obvious mistakes are and two, the more detail you can use. So I'm just going to go over my drawing and be really really careful when inking. Inking is so dangerous because you can ruin your drawing really easily by making a bad line. Anyway, just be really careful and exactly follow your lines. Once you get a little better or have a lot of practice, then you can improvise a little bit with your ink lines. I would advise against that though because uh, I have tried improvising with ink lines. What I mean by improvising is you decide that, oh, I can fix this drawing, so let me just fix it in ink instead of drawing it over erasing, drawing it again in pencil, and then inking over it. I would definitely draw it again in pencil and then ink over it, because when you think you're gonna make a correction or something in ink, you can't go back. So half the time you end up making a mistake and ruining your drawing. And this is from experience. Um, I can't think of hardly any times when making a random on the fly decision with ink has been a good idea. And now we're just going to go over the second one. Again, the thinner the pen, so this is why I'm using the .0051, or the 005, I don't even know if there's a decimal point there. Um, it's because it, the lines, as you can see, are so thin that it works really well. Okay, so now her anime eyes are done, they're inked, um, I can go ahead and fill in the face, do a little sideways check mark thingamajiggy for the nose, and just make her happy, make her smiling, and then just two lines for the eyebrow. So 
so now we are going to erase your pencil lines and your grid. So if you see there, it's all clean and there are no more pencil lines to distract people. So now we pick out our colors. And I'm going to use uh, blue, make the eyes blue, because they'll, they will stand out really nicely on camera. And so I am using Copic markers. They are professional level drawing, coloring markers. They're very pricey though, so if you are just starting out and just learning how to draw, I would not recommend them because there are so many other cheaper options out there. You can practice with anything you want, um, any kind of marker, any kind of color pencil. Just find something cheap with colors you like um, and practice with that uh, before you go and buy, spend all your money on these because while I love them very much, they are roughly $7 a piece and the ink will run out and you then have to buy refill ink. I'm telling you which ones they are. If you've already started with them and you want to add more to your collection, I'm going to be using B04 Tahitian Blue for the dark color and I'm going to be using B00 Frost Blue for the, the lighter color. So anime is really fun because you get to use more than one color for your eyes, which is why I love it. We're just going to color the middle. See, this is why I love this Tahitian blue. It's so bright and pretty. And then what I like to do for my anime eyes is I take the lighter color, which is again frost blue, and I go um, almost all the way up with the lighter color. And these two I've used before for blue eyes, so I know they go really nicely. So you go almost up to the top with the lighter color. I forgot to draw the bottom of the eye. And then we take the dark color again, fill in the top part of the eye, almost halfway, and go down like that. How you have two colors in the eye and it just looks so pretty oh i forgot this side look how pretty and blue her eyes are they're so shiny and then you can always go over your lashes again <laughs> just to make them nice and dark oh, i kind of messed it up oh well this is not my best eye but I guess it'll do. And then I'm gonna go around the outside this slightly thicker marker. This is the zero point, uh, the zero five marker. Really, really stand out. See, look, look how nice that eye is. And that is it for your anime eye. As you can see, it is fully colored and inked and it looks so pretty. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you have fun drawing your anime eyes. If you found this video helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up. In addition to drawing tutorials, I also discuss writing and do book reviews and bookish skits on my channel. So if any of that interests you, hit subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye!